In order to add dimension lines, we'll use the dimension tool that's over here in the toolbar. There's different kinds, there are different kinds of dimension lines, so depending on which way um, you need to measure, you would choose one of these different kinds. I normally would go ahead and choose horizontal or vertical. Uh, for the most part, that's the one that works most often for me. So what you'll do is you'll come over and click where you want to start and then you drag and let go and then as soon as you let go then you can drag off to a side and let go there and that will add a dimension mark because we're at full size this text is actually quite small so if we click on the text itself with the pick tool it says it's aerial and it's it's only like 14 points or something so we can make this larger maybe three inches or two inches that looks a little bit too big so we can make that larger there. Um, you can also change the style of your lines. If you need that to be those to be thicker, you can change the point size on those so that they show up a little bit better. Same thing for if you're going this way, you'd start, usually I start at where it's going to snap to a node. If you don't have snapping on, you come up to snap to and snap to objects. So I'm going to start here so I click drag over this way let go and then drag down and that will give me my four if you don't want to have to switch your text size every time you can set the default text size if you come up to tools and sorry window dockers and we'll go to object styles and then in object styles there's a default object properties here and dimension is the one that we want to set the default style for. So instead of Arial at 0.167, we could switch this to one inch. Um, instead of a hairline outline, we could switch this to eight points. And <clears throat> then we can say set as new default document. So we just click on this button here. And that way, every time we start a new document, that's going to be our new default. So now when we go back to our tool and click and drag and across and then it's going to give us that same dimension so you can do the same thing for any of these areas here click drag let go up and click again so that's how you'd give uh, dimension lines if you need to send this out to a, a manufacturer